Shame. Right then, return to Guillaume. I still feel like there's more to this. Hang on, we found Roach. Come on. He's going to be so heartbroken. All that work. And his woman's buggered off. He didn't get to take part in the tourney. He could have won it, whereas I failed. I didn't even win it for him. The love of his life has gone without wanting to talk to him. Come on, Roach. Come on, Roach. Come on, Roach. It's just a bridge. Get over it. Big girl. Let's go. Oh, hang on a sec. I got Snow. a new Roach outfit, I think. Did I not? I did. What's this? I got Sir Geralt of Rivia's saddle. I can wear it. Uh, it's all the same. Let's put it on. If only I'd known, I wouldn't have bought that other one. That looks pretty nice. Come on, Roach. It's like a cop movie where one guy says, I retire next week. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that, that that's Faster. fatal when they say that. That means they're dead. You can stop listening to whatever they have to say right then and there. Go, go. You prefer the other ending, but you don't know if you have to tell tell her to go to, to, to get it. Come I suspect on. so. I, sp I, I suspect that's where the issue is. I thought I'd be able to say to Guillaume something like, uh, I can't Come tell on, you, Roach. I promise to keep it a secret for her. But trust me, we're going to help her. Um, instead of going out on this, oh, I'm not telling you, go and get stuffed, it's nothing to do with you, tough uh, kind of thing, which wasn't quite how I envisaged that little story ending at all. But never mind. Not very dangerous animals around here. the sword away, Geralt. People will get the wrong impression. Where is he? Is he always oh, by the beer? Should have known. Right then, we need a beer. There's some explaining to do. Managed to lift her curse. Truly? So all will be well. Her troubles are done? Sort of. Asked me to give you a message. Said she's grateful. Thanks to you, she can live a normal life. Good, good. But how does she fare? Um, she's happy. I wonder if I should say no knowing how long she'll live. I'm going to say that because then he might go off after her. Method she chose worked. Thing is, she might only live for a few years more. Seven or so, most likely. Though I could be wrong. You had better be. You failed me, Witcher. I placed my trust in you and... Slap it was him. Vivian's decision. Wanted to do it her way. Can't blame me for that. Got this bard friend. Philosopher too, I guess. Amateur. He'd say, if you love somebody, set them free. Do you know what, Geralt? You earned your reward, so take it. <laughs> but keep your advice to yourself. Adieu. I don't think he liked the result of that. Yeah, because he's missed out the tournament, he's missed out on, on his woman, and he's paid me 500 crowns or florins or whatever. He's had a bad week. <laughs> right, okay. There's me thinking I was doing right by her. Maybe I should have been thinking I was have been doing right by him. His heart was in the right place. I don't know. That is one of those sort of quests in the game where the decisions aren't straightforward and there isn't always a happy ending, as it says in the books. Is his name Sting? Would be. Right, let's uh, see. I think we were heading up this way to Bianco Chiovo, Geralt's house. Right, I'm going to stick that on because I can't, I can't highlight the uh, map marker from there. How do I get across there, by the way? Please don't tell me that I have to swim across this or anything. I tell you, no 
I, uh, just for a bit of interest, I reinstalled No Man's Sky yesterday. Because I saw Tugboat playing it on stream and I thought, you know what, I, there, there are bits of that game that I did enjoy. So I'm going to put it on again. And within half an hour of play, I'd uninstalled it because the controls are just awful. Whether you use mouse and keyboard or, um, or control pad, it's just horrendous. It's also just really repetitive. And I remembered exactly why I'd quit playing it in the first place a year ago. So, yep, installed, played and uninstalled all in the space of two hours. Perhaps Mark is evil, just a mask he's wearing, Stop pretending how everything is confusing. Uh, he might be on something there. Yeah, it's like one of those hard decisions to make. Do I set the goats on fire or do I not set the goats on fire? Oops, I set the goats on fire and I didn't expect to get in trouble for it. Is he just having a piss up against that wall? Evil Mark. You could be onto something there. Wait, hang on. I'm following the wrong map marker again. Get me, uh, get me a roach, please. Not the first time I've done this. Come here. <sighs> I don't know where the hell I was going to go. Right, I wasn't that far from it before. I've run in completely the wrong direction. Alternate YouTube channel. <laughs> Where is my other sword? That's... It's, it's unequipped. That's what it's done. It's unequipped. I'm glad you asked, actually. Yeah, it's not there anymore. Uh, they've got the Griffin Silver Sword, which I suspect is that one. Let's put that on. That's the one. I need to find someone and sell all this crap, actually. Geralt of Rivia's Crossbow. How do I compare? I thought it was... Oh, is it right trigger? No. Oh, have I, I've unequipped that as well. That's 9 to 11 damage. Uh, that looks a lot better to me. Geralt of Rivia's crossbow. And then I should be able to put that on and compare. Yes, okay, yeah. Nice difference. Uh, and a load of crap to sell. That looks cool, but it's not that great. My Ursine Steel Sword has got some nice stuff on it. 75% critical hit damage. I'm not sure about that Iris one. I'm really not. Uh, cheers, Harms, by the way. Otherwise, I wouldn't have noticed that I'd gone into a fight and not noticed at all. Time for another bowl of rice and beans. What did I have for lunch today? I got it really late. It was about... Quarter past three. Uh, just because I got in work uh, late from all my jobs. What did I have? I can't remember. Ham sandwich. Some fruit. And a coffee. I think that was it. Evil Mark. Henchman of Evil Serb. That's not a uh, situation I would like to be in. Is Serb still... Working at World of Tanks, anything to do with it? Take it easy. That's it, Roach. Am I even on the right path here? Are you going to move forward, Roach, or you're just going to refuse to move from this bit? I've lots to do before it gets dark. I think I found the most awkward way down here. Right, you stay here. Is this is this my house now? Hello? Hello? Lots of peasants? Ow. Lots of peasants? Anyone at home? Ah, Welcome okay. Welcome home, sir. I am Barnabas Basil Fawlty. By order Basil of the Duchess, Fawlty. I shall serve you as Major Domo of Corfo Bianco. The Basil Fawlty. I previously served with distinction at the Nibli family manor and in Nazaire with Admiral Rompali, who, as you are certain to know, is an extraordinary, demanding gentleman. Whoa, Barnabas Basil. One thing you ought to know, I'm not your typical landed gentleman. Truth be told, this is the first real property I've ever owned. Oh, in that case, you must leave it all to me. I shall organize, see to everything, and whip the house into order. 
I dare say this place will soon be the most prosperous vineyard around. Great. Can already see I'm in good hands. So, yeah, tell me more about this place. I've never been a man of property in this game. Before. I didn't even know witches could own property. I thought it would be against their code or something. Think Serb is still working at World of Tanks? Or Wargaming, I should say. Houses are a pretty decent coin eater. I don't need coin eaters. Vineyard comes across as a place with a rich history. Know who owned it before me? Baron Rossell, who went bankrupt, forcing him to sell the estate to the Duchess. The Baron, in turn, had purchased it from Monsieur Bolius of the Headsman, a truly colourful man of Ketweni origin. He was actually a Headsman? No, not him, but his great-great-great-great-grandfather. Indeed. Apparently, he was a common cut-purse who somehow secured for himself the post of Ducal Headsman in Beauclair. Went about his work with an exceptional penchant. They say he chopped off more heads than there are grapevines in the ducal vineyards. He never hesitated, not once. Never sliced unevenly, never botched a job. For his exemplary service, the duke granted him a title and this estate. Monsieur Bolius, on the other hand, was an engineer in his younger years. Once retired, he settled here and mm. took to producing wine. Sadly, Misfortune struck, and he lost his sense first of smell, then of taste. Additionally, he could not drink alcohol. His medic forbade it. Kind of Shame in the wrong that. business. He gave up making wine? Not at all. He made even more of it. Began throwing wild balls to which he'd invite friends from far and wide in order to treat them to his wine and delight in the fact that at least someone could enjoy it. It's the sort of man he was, Monsieur Bolius. Wild balls. That reminds me, we need to go back and visit that statue in... Um, what was the name of that city? That town? I can't remember, actually. I don't know the name of the place. Because Toussaint is the region. It's not the name of the town, is it? It's not. Is it Beauclair? I don't know. But yes, you, you know the statue I'm talking about, don't you guys? Mind giving me a little tour de Corvo Bianco? Not in the least. Follow me, please. I think it would be practical to begin on the hill. Do I have to run around on this? Oh, I've got to get out of this Behold, armor. Sir, your estate in all its splendor. Pretty vast. Indeed. And now, sir, allow me to show you a handful of interesting details. Follow me, please. Been a After major you. domo all your life? Yes, I come from a long line of major domos. My father was a major domo, as was my grandfather before him, as was my great aunt. In fact, she was the one to start the tradition. Great aunt? A hard woman. It is said that already as a child, she knew where she was going and went there. When she arrived in Beauclair, she signed on as a chambermaid at one of the vineyards then slowly worked her way up to Major Domo. She dragged the rest of the family up the same path. The tradition of Major Domos. Interesting. Not really. Let's just change that armor before I forget. Yeah, I, I wouldn't have noticed. I really wouldn't have noticed. I mean, what is this stuff that I'm wearing? Is it worth nothing? It's worth nothing. Well, I mean, it's useful for nothing. It's Kind of might have been useful in the in the melee, but I'd have been better off with this stuff, I'm pretty sure. What else have we got here? Uh, feline boots. Feline trousers. And feline gloves. There, that's far more in keeping with my style. There we go, that feels so much better. And we need to sell this other crap as well. It is Beauclair, that's the name of the place. Cheers. You might not want to sell it just yet. Is that a little hint? I might keep hold of it then. The servants' quarters. I occupy the green home. With the Duchess's permission, I have hired a full staff. Their salaries to be paid from the ducal treasury. Ooh, that's good, not from me. the most sightly part of the estate, I admit. But I think it's worthwhile for you as master of the domain to know where the help stays. We give them houses. No, no, no. Chuck them out. 
They can sleep under a cart or under a tree. And we can rent out their accommodation. We can open an inn. We've got the wine already. Hey, we're onto something here. Baron Rossell ordered the vines in this part of the estate uprooted and olive groves planted in their place. They look beautiful, especially come spring. Don't look at all bad now, either. Ah, love, youth, adventure. Pardon? Who said that? Down below lies your vineyard, where we grow a strain of Carfanere, one of the world's oldest. Aged in oak barrels, it provides for an exquisite wine with distinct blackberry, wild cherry, plum and cinnamon notes. Marvelous. Have to try it one of these days. I was looking to where that old guy was going. No one if gets my lips don't stink of Lord wine, my wife won't know that. Nice well. Oh, I thought she was whipping yes, that, that other one's that ass there. <laughs> During the raucous feasts Master Bolius held, he would order it filled with wine. There's a tale about a guest attending a Bolius ball for the first time and thus unaware <sighs> of the custom. He had suffered great heartbreak and had decided to end his life by jumping into the well. The festivities were coming to a close, and the well was nearly empty when the Swiss <coughs> guest finally jumped. Instead of killing himself, he merely broke his legs. To numb the pain, he drank the wine. Drank himself to death? N not at all. When found the next day, he had concluded he'd witnessed twin miracles. The water had been changed into wine, and he had survived. He retired to a monastery in the Dragon Mountains and began preaching the wisdom of Lebiola. Well, those geese were noisy. Try and listen to the guy. My leg aches something fierce. What? Your what? Oh, gammy leg. What the hell? These accents. Oh, hey, Charles. Yep. Nice Bolius, to see you. His wife, Nina, kept a garden here. A supremely lovely place it was. I think we need to get that fixed Been up. Neglected now. I agree. Yet nothing stands in the way of restoring it to its former glory. And once again planting it with herbs and other vegetation. It's just going to be expensive, isn't it? Yeah, I see where this is going. I like the crest on my crossbow, by the way. That looks cool. Madame Nina planted diminutive, delicate flowers and herbs here. One might say their aroma still hangs in the air. You're quite the romantic, Barnabas Basil. Come on, where are we going next? Oh, how much is this going to cost me? It's going to be like... The pirate base in uh, Assassin's Creed 4, isn't it? Yeah, you can upgrade the tavern, you can upgrade your house. It's going to cost you thousands and thousands and thousands. My something fierce. Now where are we going? Can Follow we run this? this? Oh, that cat. Look at that. Cat didn't like me. This served as an additional wine cellar in years of plentiful harvests. Hmm. Bit of work and it'll make a fine stable for Roach. Roach is stable. Let's start by burning it down. Broken rake and false teeth. We could get a nice little inn going here, I think. If my lips don't stink of wine, my wife won't know they're mine. The cellars, voila. During Monsieur Bolis's time, wine was kept here, but Baron Rossell used it to store olive oil as well. I took the liberty of cleaning up the... Oh, thank you, I'll take it. ...which I made while fighting the Bruxa. Thanks, Barnabas Basil. Oh, is that where Appreciate this was? It. Cool. Take a few bottles of wine, I think. Let's, uh, let's, let's sample some of these. Let's get drunk. I've never been drunk in this game. Where's my bottles of wine? What have we got? Got nine. Which was the one I just picked up? Consume. Consume. Da, 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 da. It's party time. 
Beauclair White. Try some of those. A couple of those. And uh, Everloose. One of those. Est Est. One of those. And yeah, we'll have a couple of those. Burp. Seems to have done the job. <laughs> I can't see where the way out is. Where's my guy gone? There he is. <laughs> Can't go on a tour of a wine, uh, you know, a vineyard without tasting the wine, can you? As you can see, the facade is, how to put it, slightly stained. But one cannot deny it a certain subtle southern charm. I'm sober. True, though it could use a bit of subtle paint. I've scissored my fingers near to shreds. I'm sober already. I just drank about seven bottles of wine. Damn, witches are certainly impressive creatures when it and comes to alcohol. Inside. And other toxins. On the left is the master bedroom. On the right, the dining hall and kitchen. Upstairs, you shall find the guest room, currently used for storage. Not a bad idea. At the moment, the house is only minimally furnished. Yet I believe we will, together, devise some innovative arrangements. A few paintings, for instance, would breathe new life into the abode immediately. Are you going to tell me to go and buy some? You've seen the full lay of the land. Corfo Bianco is a beautiful estate. Though one must admit, time has taken its toll. If, if, forgive me for being forward, but if you were to choose to invest a small sum towards its beautification, consider me at your service on the matter. Think I'll take you up on that. Be sure to come and see you if I decide to do any remodeling. Uh, yeah, I think we should probably do this now, and we'll at least get a look at what the cost's going to be. After that amount of wine, my puke should be puking. <laughs> Let's take a look at what we've got here, then. Mentioned the place could stand to be spruced up. Almost decidedly, sir. The question is where you would like to begin this rejuvenation. Uh, let's have a look. Um, it makes sense to get the house done I'm first. About the outer walls, maybe a fresh coat of paint or some patching. If I might dare to make a suggestion, why not start with a general renovation? I once oversaw such work at Admiral Rompelli's summer residence. The effects were simply breathtaking. Not only you say did so. the residence positively sparkle afterwards, but we also made room to display the Admiral's armor and weapons, of which he was a passionate collector. Am I, am I going to get 5,000? I wonder how much I actually have. Yeah, go on then. It's in your hands then. Make the place shine. I shall get to work immediately. Within a day's passing, I shall have sent for the crew which rebuffed the Admiral's residence. They are the finest specialists around. Highly skilled mm -hmm. at what they do, it shall not take them too long, I wager. Two days after they begin, your eyes will behold your residence in its refurbished, rejuvenated, beautified state. I think, then. Is there anything, anything else you require, sir? I'd better go and earn some money. Got these spacious grounds. Mm, but maybe it's time to make them more... Uh, useful. Oh, yes. We certainly should. The way I see things, given your trade, sir, you would be wise to put in a grindstone and an armorer's table. A good way to start things off, don't you think? Very good. Um, well, all right. My armor How needs much? work from time to time. You know, oil this, reinforce that. Could use a decent work table where I could do all that. Admiral Rompali once hired a specialist who made the finest armorer's tables this side of the Yeruga. I will contact him at once. Everything is Admiral Rompali did this and Admiral Rompali did that. I don't know how much cash I've good. got at the moment. Order me up a table like that. Immediately, sir. I expect it will take at most one day to arrive. Will you be needing anything else, sir? Yes, get the sword thing as well. In my trade, my blades get... Of course. Right, let's get that. Thousand, it's gone. Sent... Of course. What else is there? Will you be needing... Possibly. Uh... Know what? Changed my mind. Not in the mood to talk about redecoration today. But I wanted to ask you something else. 
I shall be glad like to what? answer your every question, sir. Um, is there anything else we can do? Display. I agree. Yet I would urge you to okay. hold off on further construction until the ongoing work is done. Juggling can be a challenging art. It's best not to undertake too much at once. Very good. I want to get the gardens done as Thanks. well. Got to get back to my business now. See you soon. I need to go and do some work, actually. Earn some money. Otherwise, uh, we are not going to be able to afford any more of this. In fact, how much have I got? 7,000. So that, that cost a little bit. Now then, shall I put this fancy armor in my stash? Which I can't see. What the hell is this? I'm nowhere near a stash. Not up there, anyway. There's a bed. A weapon rack. Ooh. Oh, I can put something in it. Nice. Let's put... Um... Well, that looks pretty cool. I really need to sell that to go and earn some money, but... Yeah. That looks nice. <laughs> I won't get... I don't think I'll get much for him. I mean, there's, there's, a, there's a bow sticking out there. What have we got here, then? Hanger painting. Oh, I do have something. It's a Geralt of Rivia's shield. Portrait of Iris and Olgird. In my bedroom. Take that back down. I don't know if I really want to use a bed. You're waiting for your bed to be replaced. You cannot use it now. It does look a bit shabby. Hmm. I got loads of stuff in my stash. I can put Witcher gear on the walls if I wanted to. That might be better. Stuff that I'm never going to use. Uh, I will worry about this later. Let's go and earn some money and do some quests. Uh, so you say Mark just gave 7k to Basil Faulty without thinking twice. It just went. You've got 91k in your save game right now? That's a lot. That guy could spend all my money on wine and women. You are quite right. I've only got his word for it that he's going to actually do anything here. So we started off in this direction. I mean, there's a load of stuff over there, which looks pretty interesting. There's levels, 37 to 45, 40 uh, levels this direction. Never fear Skelligus here. Oh, that's to find Grand Master stuff. All right, that's what we're going to do. We're going to go to... Um, we're going to go to here and then work our way south. Finding those things on the way. So where is... That signpost? Is it in the middle of my town somewhere? There's, there's a pile of roast geese over there. So we're going to go over here. And then just head south. I don't think... Well, that's like a long way out. A night for hire. That might be something to visit on the way. Oh, there's, there's loads of stuff. Level 46. All right, I don't want to be going that way. Um, yeah, go on. We'll go over there. That sounds like a plan. Head in that direction. You think 90k is the most you've had in your playthroughs? That's, I mean, that's a lot of money. I would have got up to, I think, maybe 50k if I hadn't had that goat incident, which was expensive. Okay, let's uh, stick the map on and see. Have I done anything in this inn? Oh, yes, this was the place we came to first, wasn't it? I remember. Let's roach up and head down the road. <laughs> 